I just went outside for the first and last time in a while, and boy are my arms tired from grabbing my brand new copy of Doom Eternal. And I picked up Animal Crossing digitally, you know, gotta be responsible in doing my part in saving the world from all these harmful video game plastics. But, you know, I've been gaming a whole lot, especially recently, and I really don't like to know too much before I start one up. I try to stay away from most trailers, gameplay footage, hands-on demos, reveals, etc. Uh, E3 is a hell of a time for me. I feel nothing. Two of the most seemingly anticipated games of recent memory just dropped, and I bought them both in seemingly something which I've almost never done, which is concurrently buying two new games. That's whack for me. I really don't even buy new games that frequently in general, so it was kind of a fun new experience for me buying, you know, dose. But I've been shirking any and all responsibilities the last two weeks just to sit and play these games, and it's been great. I mean, hell, no one even seems to realize I'm not even going to class. I've been holed up since Christmas in anticipation. No one is gonna spoil these games for me, I tell you. No one. That said, I sure can't wait to just get out to bars and general gatherings of people and just talk about this game. <laughs> <coughs> But no, I, I do take this seriously, you guys. I mean, I've been distancing myself from any and all social situations because anyone could be talking about me because I'm out there. I mean, I, and to be frank, I just won't have it. I've even been keeping away from any and all shill videos, intrusive, personalized Google ads. I've muted words on Twitter, covered my eyes as I walked through GameStop, as well as while driving through Los Angeles during peak rush hour traffic while I was visiting for E3 so I didn't see the giant Doom mural. Hey, get off the freeway, asshole. Being a huge Doom fan, I of course loaded up Eternal first. So I got in, and really the first thing I noticed was how mellowed out the music was. Just listen to those horns. A bit of a departure from and aren't usually the kinds of trumpets we see in Doom games, but I honestly, I'm down with it. I mean, I'm vibing, man. I mean, I voted for Obama. I'm down with change. That man was as cool as ice. Just kidding, I was a child in 2008. So I voted McCain Palin. But speaking of children, they should not play the new Animal Crossing because it's really mature. Honestly, this is my first game in the franchise. It, is this what it's always been? This is Animal Crossing? Because I was really looking forward to getting into the meat of this new entry. And like, I don't know how those crazy bastards at Nintendo got this to be rated E, but I, more power to them. Dude, Tom Nook looking different. I knew he was a capitalist tyrant, but this is ridiculous. And I thought he had two nephews, not three. Oh wait, that's right. I killed the third one right at the beginning of the game. Timmy and Tommy must be the ones left over. I guess I evicted Tammy. Fishing is my big favorite. Cracks me up how big some of these boys are. It's kind of weird how one of the demons is called a dab, though. I mean, it seems a bit pandery to them Zoomers. I would think the axe would be used for a bit more than just cutting down tree demons. A bit surprising that the most effective one against the Hellfodder is a net. Man, the Arachnotron's really been nerfed. Still pack a punch, though. Okay, so villager gates are amazing. They literally train you to be better at the game. Mowing down wave after wave of adorable villagers is not only fun, but cathartic. If you faint, it isn't really even a negative more often than not, as you learn with every fainting and continuously get better as you challenge it again. They're honestly designed really well in terms of what villagers spawn when. I just wish I could invite some of them back to the town like I can in Doom. I like that you keep your demons in your base and they get attached to you if you talk to them every day. That part is really fun. You'd think I'd miss slaughtering them mercilessly, but I feel like that itch is being scratched elsewhere these days. Regardless, it's a genuine delight. Cutest demon has gotta be Daisy May. Or Scoot, but he's not in my town, so fuck. The residential ones, though, are strange. They don't seem hostile at the moment. One of them, codenamed Sprocket, doesn't shut the fuck up about working out. The other, Mira, seems to have a thing for me. But I mean, she's actually kind of pleasant. She always just gives me shit to do. Gotta keep most of the residential demons off of my property though. Some of them don't know how to take a hint when I'm trying to make a memory with the missus. Sprocket, move! Please! Get the fuck out! My girlfriend actually surprisingly got super into Doom Eternal. <laughs> I don't know what it was. She normally doesn't like these kinds of games, but I guess the art style won her over? She really likes the new quality of life features this entry in the Doom franchise adds, specifically the custom clothes design options. She's hopped over to more different island dimensions than I have at this point. Funny how the dimensional transport seems to look a lot like a regular airplane though. They named Wilbur and Orville. Funny joke, me like that. But there's this dog that invited my girlfriend to his island with a private, photo studio. I don't know how I feel about that one, but she went, so. And might I ask, why does Harv just have an empty basement? We even went on a date in Doom Eternal. Wow, never thought I'd say that. 
just goes to show the bounds of technological progress we make in the games industry. You can go on a date in Doom Eternal! Who even gives a fuck about Crunch anymore? I don't. I never did! And neither should you. Just make me my games. I don't care that your wife is threatening to leave you and take the kids because you've been at the office for 36 hours straight bug testing. I want my Red Dead Redemption 2 and I want it now! Hey, speaking of bugs, look at this Orchid Mantis I caught. Pretty cool, right? I know, thank you, Adam. <laughs> Anyways, I love the Doom Room. I haven't met the KK Slider demon yet, but I'm sure I will. Oh wait, yeah, he was in the last game. I adore the Slayatorium, how I can view demonic entities I've captured over my travels. And trust me, every encounter was very intense. It's cool that you can donate demons to Vega. He's a lad. His design has changed a little bit though. I don't really remember him being a, a fucking owl. I am glad, however, that Vega, the AI in Doom, is still very smart. I like to be taught by him a lot. It is quite a delight. Smart boy. It's funny to me that he hates the more bug-like demons though. You'd think an AI wouldn't care at all. But I don't care. Really just makes him more of a fleshed out character. Weird how they changed his name to Blathers, like that one guy in Animal Crossing. I like how Samuel Hayden sells me clothes. It's a gift. Take it. My girlfriend even met him before I got to. I wanted to meet Samuel Payton. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Also, if anyone knows why Hayden looks like Sonic now, please let me know. You know, it's nice that Blathers gives you directions via voiceover and tells you where to go in Animal Crossing. Weird how they changed his name to Vega, like that AI in Doom. The museum is cool. Not only can you view all of the fish, bugs, and fossils you've met over your adventure, but you can punch them, too. I love the new main villager design, though. Calling him the quote-unquote Slayager is a bit silly, but I mean, I think it totally works. It doesn't, like, do so ironically. It totally knows what it is and plays it completely straight, and I love that sh It's actually actually pretty damn cool. I know previous Animal Crossing games have been contained to a single town. Pretty cool how this one has all the villagers invading Earth. It's nice to have them come to me, you know? Also, guys, look, I found Isabel. Decorating my Fortress of Doom is like crack cocaine. No, even better, meth. Call me a property brother, because I am tweaking on interior design, you guys. Legit, those guys are strange. Be afraid, be very afraid. My favorite decoration is probably my sea demon fly. She cute. Speaking of interior design, Animal Crossing also allows you to paint the walls red with the blood of your enemies. Much like Doom Eternal, but there's just a lot more options in that one. Like what the hell? The Doom multiplayer is finally pretty damn good too. Battle mode is wild. Have any of you played Half-Life Alex yet? <laughs> Me neither. And the damnedest part is I spent hundreds of dollars on the requisite equipment just to do so and I haven't even touched it. Again, you know what? He's so chill, I would gladly be in forever debt to the con maker. Really enjoy going on Slayland adventures to grab materials and such. You wouldn't believe my haul on my last one. Just look at all those sturgeons! But I also really enjoy going on island adventures in which I rip and tear to my heart's content. Again, villager gates rock, but they can also eat a dick. I love that you can unlock the original villager skin from the GameCube game. And I don't know what this is, but I like it. It's weird though. When I connected the other Doom games that I had bought to this game, I got new villager skins. So that was cool, but that's a little strange. And even though I haven't really fully finished either of them at the time of making this video, after talking about them, I... I feel completely refreshed. I feel like it's New Year's morning after I just put on a fresh pair of underwear. And like I said, as a huge Half-Life fan, I need to get going on Alex because I've waited years for it and I spent way too much money to play it. And it's, at this point, it's like, what am I even still doing here? All right, well, I'll see y'all later. I gotta get going. All right, well, let's... Oh, well, you know what? First, I should put my copy of Doom Eternal back on the shelf. All right, just give me just... Wait a second.